Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today in this video we are making a jar cozy for a Yankee Candle Candle so yes I have adapted my pattern to fit the Yankee Candles so in a previous video I made these ones and today we are making this one here so let's get started so for this project you will need a Yankee Candle um, jar. It's a 538 gram one, so it's the bigger one. Now they have smaller ones which are cheaper and they have the same diameter on the bottom. So you will still be able to use this particular pattern, but you'll just make it less high. So you'll do less rounds when you're doing the sides of the cozy so this is white linen and lace and it just smells divine <laughs> um, I am using the same um, sirdar simply recycled because I have quite a lot of it um, I have a three and a half to use although this is prescribed as a four so you know see which one is best for you and then of course you'll need your scissors and your darning needles so let's get started I'm going to do a magic circle. So I make a cross over my fingers like this. I insert my hook under this bit here. Then go to the back, bring it through, and I do a chain, and you need to do another chain. So two chains to get started. We are going to work over the bit where there are two strands and we are going to do 11 double crochets into the circle a double crochet is yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to do 11 because we need 12 v's around our work and the 12th v is going to be made by our slip stitch over our chain and then that chain counts as our 12th double crochet now as you can see i'm keeping my magic circle a little bit tensioned between my fingers sometimes it comes out a bit so you need to just pull it closed a little bit again so you don't go over the end of your magic circle you keep it you know this end I mean you keep it out so you can use it as you need it later on <laughs> and I am almost there and I think this is the 11th one. It might be the 12th one as well. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. And then the chain is going to be my 12th one. So we're going to pull it closed. Skip the two chains of the chain. Go to the V that is on top of that first double crochet. Get your working yarn and do a slip stitch. So this is the start of our jar cozy of the bottom. So two chains up. We're going to forget about those. And we are now going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. So we have 12 Vs going around the edge of our work. And now we are going and doubling those v's so we are putting in each v we are putting two stitches so that means we are going to have 24 stitches i will see you at the end of your round I have just done my first double crochet in this stitch here in the last V of the round. The second stitch or that chain is already coming out of there. So that counts as our second double crochet. I'm now going to put a slip stitch over it and that will make the V on top of that stitch as well. My magic circle is opening up a bit, but when I um, 
sew this in, you pull it closed and it closes up again. So that's not a problem. Round three, we're going to chain up two. You're going to do one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. This is the ratio that you're going to go round. So one and two. I will see you at the end of the round. I have done my first double crochet in that last stitch. The chain is the second double crochet. We're going to go under that V here and do a slip stitch. We have to do another increase round. So chain two. This time we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. So this time our increase rate is one, one, two. I will see you at the end of the round. Again, I've done my last double crochet, that chain. I am going under that V here and I'm doing a slip stitch. Now this, let me just show you, is the size of the bottom of my jar. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit close to the viewfind, to the camera, but that's the size that we need okay so four rows of double crochet so in the uh, last row you now have 48 stitches we are now going to get started on our rows which will go on the side of our jar and so we are going to do two chains so we're no longer increasing, we are just doing one stitch in one stitch and we are going to do a back loop only and picking up the third loop as well. So double crochet, so yarn over, pick up the back loop, that's this one here and then there is also a third loop. So let me just show you which that is. So this here is the back loop this one here is a third loop. So you're picking up two loops and of course now I've lost my yarn over. So yarn over, pick up the back loop and just push through and you will also pick up the third loop and you do your double crochet. When you pick up the back loop only, sometimes you can pull it a little bit and it will make holes. So to avoid that, we are also going to pick up the third loop. Back loop, look at the back, third loop, and you do your double crochet. So picking up both of those loops, do a double crochet in each of the stitches around. You will soon get used to picking up both loops. See, it's going quicker already. I sort of hold it with my finger here and because I'm pushing against that third loop with my finger, it's easy to pick it up. I will see you when you have finished your round. I'm now ready for the slip stitch so skip the two chains under the V of that next stitch and you do your slip stitch and as you can see it's already standing up here okay and do keep trying it on onto your jar to make sure that it fits so I'm going to start with chain two this is going to be a last stitch of the round so let's just forget about that for now and we are going to skip five stitches. So one, two, three, 
four, five. In the sixth stitch, you are going to do three double crochets, one chain, and another three double crochets. Then we are going to skip another five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one, same thing. Three double crochets, a chain and three double crochets. So you continue like this all the way around and you should end up with having to do your next shell in this stitch here and then this one will be the last double crochet of that shell. So I will meet you when you are here. And indeed, yes, I got to this point here, had to count six stitches. I ended up in the stitch with that chain coming out. So I have already done three double crochets. I'm now going to do my chain and I'm going to do another two double crochets into that same stitch because of course this chain is going to be my last double crochet. So we're going to do a slip stitch into that a stitch here and that has completed that shell as well. Now we are going to do three slip stitches along the edge of this shell here and into the chain space. So it's now going to be a lot easier because you don't have to count anymore you can just go from chain space to chain space. So we are going to get started with two chains and then another two double crochets, a chain and three double crochets. Okay, then you're going to go straight to the next chain space and you are going to put in three double crochets, a chain and another three double crochets. And that's how you are going to continue your round and I will meet you at the end of your round. I have continued and I have finished my second round so this is what it looks like at the moment so it's only just beginning so when I came to the end of the round I'll just undo it so I can show you again I did my last double crochet in there and then I looked for the chain and I used the V that's just past the chain to do my slip stitch. There we go. And then we do the same thing again. You do three or two depending on how you can get there. Yeah, two slip stitches and then you start your round again. And you continue in this way until you think you are high enough, you know, along the um, side of your jar. Bar one round so the last round will be different so when you think yep that's the height then come back to this video and i will show you what to do for your last round
I have now done one, two, three, four, five, six rounds, and it's sort of near, it's covering the label basically. So I am now going to do my last round. So let's take this out and insert here. Let's do that slip stitch. There we go, and another two slip stitches to get to the right position. Mm, there's that fast car again. <laughs> right, so we are going to chain two, then into the chain space, we are going to do six more double crochets. So no more chaining in between. So we do six here because obviously that first chain counts as a double crochet. So we'll have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And another one is going to be seven. So in the next chain space, you are going to just do seven double crochets. And that's how you are going to continue this round. And at the end, you finish it with a slip stitch and seven. Um, you finish it with a slip stitch as we have been used to, and that will finish the round. I will see you at the end of the round. I have done my last double crochet into that V of the first double crochet in that first shell there, so past the chain, do a slip stitch and that is it. So we can cut off our cotton here and you'll have to sew in your ends. I'm just going to leave it for now and I am going to insert my jar and look at that fits perfectly right so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed just yet and also watch keep watching for a few more pictures of my jar cozy Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.